morning everyone today we leave Krabi unfortunately because we are just leaving an incredible sunny day here behind us but we have to move on with our road trip and we are heading to Nakhon Si Tamarat that's a province that is not so popular among tourists but it's beautiful as well it's right south of Suratani so it's on the other coast of Thailand and today we're just gonna cross Thailand from the Krabi side all the way to the Gulf of Thailand south of Suratani that's where Nakhon Si Tamarat is it's gonna be wow so beautiful look how beautiful this is guys what an incredible day in Krabi it's gonna be 168 kilometers from Krabi to Nakhon Si Tamarat and it's gonna take approximately three hours but we're gonna stop in the middle and we're gonna visit a temple in Nakhon Si Tamarat so join us let's start this road trip together and let me show you Nakhon Si Tamarat let's go Okay guys, first stop, iced coffee and then we start the road trip. Okay guys, first stop is this beautiful temple in Nakhon Si Tamarat. It's on the way from Krabi to Nakhon Si Tamarat. We just drove on the road 4156 and if you saw the footage it was wow, unbelievable. What an amazing drive. I will recommend you if you drive from Krabi to Nakhon Si Tamarat, instead of taking the main road, the highway, which is kind of busy and nothing special, take the 4156 because it's such a beautiful road, completely immersed in the jungle with incredible scenery of nature. Beautiful. And this is our first stop. This place is called Wat Ni La Nam. It's also known as the National Park of Buddhists because there are so many buddhas here and most of them are still under construction they're building a massive temple right there and they're building so many more buddhas just few of them are actually completed so it's still a big work in progress if you have the chance to drive by and stop by here do it it's still it's in the middle of nowhere and it's right next to the main road and there's still a lot of construction going on but it's such a special place it's it's really beautiful Okay guys, we're gonna have a lunch now in a restaurant, cafe and farm, something in the middle of nowhere and then we'll uh, head to Nakhon Si Tamarat town. We made it to this beautiful farm, restaurant, cafe, it's called Rai Kasem Suk. Let's go inside. What do you have? I have fried rice and pad kapau and uh, omelette with rice. Pad kapau. Pad kapau. Mm. The menu is only in Thai because mm. it's super local, and we are probably the only guests here. Super quiet in the middle of nowhere, just nature. So peaceful. Uh, 
I guess when it's the right time here, it's gonna be full of rice. So it's gonna be extremely green and beautiful. Now it's just not the, the right time. Man, this is what I really love about Thailand. It has so many of these kind of places that are just immersed in nature and the style is just beautiful. And they're everywhere, all around Thailand. It just reminds me of the north, around Chiang Mai area. It has so many cafes and restaurants like this in the farm. But actually it's everywhere in Thailand. The style and the design is just so nice. Look at this. It also reminds me of Bali a little bit. Bali is also full of rice fields and nice cafes like this one. Oh man, I miss Bali. I haven't been there for what, almost two years now. I'm a big lover, big fan of Bali. I used to live there before the, the pandemic as well. What a beautiful place and what a beautiful day today. The weather is simply perfect. And I'm so grateful for Ploy because she's the one that always finds these kind of unique places and restaurants that are not very tourist, they're very local and I really enjoy them. Right, so I got a parkra pao, not spicy, with a fried egg on top. And I'm gonna try it now. Ploy, she got this uh, <laughs> salad. salad from Isana. Spicy. Mm, spicy and sour. Ah, spicy and sour. And I got a parkra pao classic. Mmm, it smells so good. lunch it was really delicious I really love that part Krapa it was perfect and the location also was um, was really nice we were the only people there the entire time extremely quiet and we just paid 210 baht for two people that's insanely cheap <laughs> welcome to Thailand <laughs> So now we continue and we're gonna head to Nakonsi Tamarat town. We're gonna find a hotel. Actually, we didn't book a hotel yet. So we have to find a hotel and then we're gonna stay there one night and uh, tomorrow new adventures. So let's go. Guys, we made it here at the B2 Premier Hotel in Nakhon Sitamarat. You know, when you don't have a booking and you don't know where to stay in a new city, B2 is always a guarantee because it's very cheap and it's like a decent quality and they're kind of standard everywhere in Thailand. It's like a hotel chain in Thailand, everywhere in every city. So as we didn't make any booking for tonight, we just end up here just for one night yeah and this B2 is right in the city center of uh, Nakhon Sitamara this is like a cinema there is cafe Amazon there very central area just walking here at the B2 and they told us the room for one night is 540 baht so we just took it it's one night we're a little bit tired and um, so yeah I like B2 it's always kind of a, a safe solution if you are traveling around Thailand I think I stay in most of the B2 around Thailand pretty much everywhere all right all right here we are in B2 Premier Nakhon Sitamarat, nice, clean, small room on the fourth floor. Oh, it's very, very cloudy. 
Yeah, it's very simple, but it has everything. You got your TV, AC, of course, complimentary water, coffee, tea, fridge, mini fridge, a chair here with a desk, a big mirror. You got a hair dryer, wardrobe here, safe. Oh, even bathrobe. Wow, I never seen this in a B2. And the bathroom is like uh, very simple. Got your mirror, sink, toilet, and shower. Everything you need for just one night here. Good morning, guys, from Nakonsi Tamarat. It's a little bit sunny today, which is great. Ploy told me that we absolutely need to eat Tom Tim Sum here in Nakon Sitamarat. It's a very typical breakfast. It's a Chinese style breakfast, very unique. So we're gonna go there right now and uh, I'm gonna show you, of course. And we are also enjoying this beautiful city center. There is a nice temple here. There is the wall of the city. So we're just walking around and enjoy this place. This place is called Kopi and is since 1942 and is one of the most popular places that serve this kind of Chinese breakfast here in uh, Nakon Sitamarat. Very unique. They have three branches just here in the city. So if you happen to be here, make sure to visit this place because it's, it's worth it. So this is the menu. It's all in Thai actually. Very, very authentic. order some padongo, another coffee and also a uh, new dumpling are coming. This is also pork dumpling and it's delicious. And now, no. Bajo. Bajo. Roberto Bajo. Roberto Bajo. Good. Good. <laughs> okay, bye bye. That guy is a fan of Roberto Bajo. Amazing player. Man, I really like this uh, city center here in uh, Nakon Sitamarat. It's really cool. It's very famous for these ancient uh, walls, which reminds me of the walls of Chiang Mai. I feel like they are probably about the same age because the they look really really similar to the one in Chiang Mai, the, the gates of Chiang Mai. But yeah, I'm surprised of this uh, little city of uh, Nakhon Sitamarat. It's pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this little road trip from Krabi all the way to Nakonsi Tamarat. But stay tuned because this is not over yet because now we'll continue the exploration in Nakonsi Tamarat. Actually today in the afternoon we are going to go to the famous kid that gives blessing to earn more money and to have more success for business, financial success. It's very very popular here in Thailand so we're gonna visit his temple and then we're gonna go also to some nice beaches here in Nakonsi Tamarat because it's not a very touristic place but has some incredible beaches and I want to show them to you. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.